Ever wondered why there's a huge debate about carbohydrates and how they are metabolized in our bodies? Or perhaps you've heard about the Warburg effect but can't quite grasp what it means? Well, it's time to debunk some misconceptions and shed light on these topics. First things first, carbohydrates. They're one of the primary sources of energy for our bodies. When we consume carbohydrates, our bodies break them down into glucose, which is a type of sugar. This glucose then gets transported to our cells where it's used for energy. Now, glucose can be metabolized in two ways, through glycolysis and through mitochondrial oxidation. Glycolysis is a process that happens in the cytoplasm of our cells and doesn't require oxygen. It's a quick source of energy, but it's not very efficient. On the other hand, mitochondrial oxidation, which happens inside the mitochondria of our cells, is a much more efficient way to burn glucose and it requires oxygen. But here's where things get interesting. There's a phenomenon called the Warburg effect, named after the German biochemist Otto Warburg. He noticed that cancer cells prefer to use glycolysis for energy, even when there's plenty of oxygen around for mitochondrial oxidation. This is quite unusual because, as we mentioned earlier, glycolysis is less efficient. It turns out this happens due to mitochondrial dysfunction, a condition also known as reductive stress. So what causes this mitochondrial dysfunction? The answer isn't simple, it could be due to factors like an excess of linoleic acid, estrogen dominance, exposure to electromagnetic fields, or endotoxin production caused by gut dysbiosis from the consumption of refined sugars and certain starches. Contrary to popular belief, burning glucose in mitochondria is a cleaner and more efficient energy source than fats. This is why it's crucial to maintain a balanced macronutrient ratio, keeping dietary fat content below a certain threshold. So, to combat diseases like cancer, it's not just about reducing sugar intake. It's also about addressing mitochondrial dysfunction. This could involve reducing factors contributing to reductive stress, consuming healthy carbs, and optimizing mitochondrial health. In conclusion, glucose plays a critical role as the primary fuel for mitochondria. It's important to consume healthy carbs to maintain bodily functions, while being careful not to rely too heavily on fats as the main fuel. To lower cancer risk, consider minimizing linoleic acid intake, consuming healthy carbs, and supplementing with probiotics to improve gut health. Remember, it's not just about cutting out sugar or burning fats, it's about understanding the complex interplay of glucose metabolism, the Warburg effect, and dietary choices. With a balanced approach, we can promote better health and potentially lower the risk of diseases like cancer.